All right, guys, just want to share this quick study with you from Harvard, of all places, that shows that uh, higher sperm counts are generally found in men who lift heavy objects, which is why I always tell you guys that you want to lift weights, right, at least a few times per week. Um, and according to the study, you will have a higher sperm count, higher testosterone, much more volume in your semen, which is good all around and you will act more like a dude and you'll be less of a reactive beta in society. Um, they should have a photo of some dude lifting weights and not just dudes doing construction and carrying around this yellow hat. All right, analysis, part of a larger effort to examine infertility. Men who regularly lift heavy objects at work have higher sperm counts suggests a new study from researchers at Harvard affiliated Brigham and Women's Hospital. Okay, it says the researchers found that men who reported often lifting or moving heavy objects at work had 46%, 46%, man, that's over almost half, percent higher sperm concentration and 44% higher total sperm count compared to those with less physical jobs. Basically, dudes who work in offices, right? Dudes who don't lift weights. Dudes who don't go to the gym. Uh, men who reported uh, more physical activity at work also had higher levels of the male sex hormone testosterone, the magic T word. And counterintuitively, the female hormone, less of the female hormone estrogen. Contrary to what some people remember from biology class, male and female hormones are found in both sexes, which is true, right? Which is true. Obviously, as a dude, you want to have more testosterone than estrogen. And as a female, you want to have more, you tend to have more estrogen than testosterone, okay? That's why as these chicks get older, they get more testosterone. They start acting more like dudes and not a good version of a dude. Infertility is a growing problem and it can be caused by a variety of complex factors. However, 40% of infertility cases can be traced to male factors such as sperm count, semen quality, and sexual function. In particular, sperm count and semen quality are thought to be the major drivers of growing infertility rates among males. Uh, you think? And previously led by uh, the study team that found among men seeking fertility treatment, sperm count, and quality declined by as much as 42% between 2000 and 2017. That is a huge friggin' drop. Between 2000 and 2017, uh, male sperm count uh, basically declined and quality declined by 42%. What is the reason for this? Um, it's the food quality, the, the wokeness, the constant emasculating of men, the uh, spreading of this narrative that any type of masculinity is toxic, um, all of the above. While the current study found a relationship between physical activity and fertility in men seeking fertility treatment, it will take further research to confirm these findings if they hold true for men and the general population. Well, duh, of course they do. I don't think you need any further studies when it comes to that. Uh, there is increasing evidence that male infertility is associated with common chronic diseases such as cardiovascular disease and autoimmune disease, highlighting the broader importance of ma the male reproductive system. Uncovering uh, actionable steps people can take to improve their fertility stands to benefit all of us not just couples trying to conceive. Yeah, it benefits benefits all of us. It benefits society because we need men to protect society. We need men to keep building society. You know, we need men to keep inventing new things, creating new things. Uh, that's just what we do as men, right? Um, there are very few women out there that actually create anything or invent anything new. They basically just take what men have already invented and try to make be better versions of it, right? Nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying, it's generally men, historically, who create and build and produce, whereas women just kind of like come along for the ride, right? But uh, this study just goes to show that, uh, dudes, you need to do be doing physical activity that involves lifting, right? That involves weights. And if you don't have a job that is physically demanding, 
Or even if you do, you should still be hitting the gym. You should still be picking up the weights. Uh, personally, I, I prefer free weights. I don't do any of these like machines anymore uh, that I used to. I, I like just complete free weights, dumbbells, bench press. Um, yeah, yeah, I don't like... Uh, I don't like these like Nautilus machines. We used to call them Nautilus machines back in the day. And obviously a lot of this can be traced back to your diet as well, right? We always talk about this on this channel, you know, just ingesting too much bad food, junk food, you know, too much video games, too much sitting around, too much of being a couch potato. Uh, all of this contributes to you having less of a more of a low sperm count, which obviously, as they said in this study from Harvard, they said that uh, it, it does affect your health in other ways beyond just trying to conceive, right? Beyond just trying to have a kid, it can affect your, uh, it, it can affect you as far as your cardiovascular disease and autoimmune, autoimmune disease, right? It, it can affect you in many ways. I'm a little tongue-tied today for some reason. I'm getting a little tired because I've been shooting all day. But uh, regardless, guys, that's the study. And, um, yeah, you can see it for yourself. It's from news.harvard.edu, Gazette. Uh, it's just called Men Who Lift Heavy Objects Have Higher Sperm Counts. And, I mean, really, that says it all, right? Dudes who lift weights, who lift heavy objects, have tend to have higher sperm counts. And um, so... There it is, right? Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share. As always, please feel free to drop your comments below. This is M, aka Matt Cross, from Alpha Male Secrets. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work, best way to do that, just become a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets program which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube, and that is to protect my premium content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down. They won't be able to because we're on a private platform that I'm paying for. And right now it's only a buck, only $1, for the entire first month of my premium Alpha Male Secrets content, which you will not find here on my regular Alpha Male channel. So take advantage of it, and that is the best way to support my work. And it's really easy to get signed up. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now. And I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.